Greetings everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at some news that dropped yesterday. They just released a new blog post, the Widening Gyre event. I'm probably mispronouncing that, G-Y-R-E. As part of our upcoming content release from October 6th to November 5th, PC captains playing Star Trek Online will have access to a special event, the Widening Gyre. This new event will provide participating captains with an epic reward, the Imperial Rift space set. Read on to find out more about the event and its rewards. Uh, participating in this event grants daily progress towards the grand prize, the Imperial Rift Space Set. Obtaining the Rift Space Set requires 20 daily progress. Captains can earn one daily progress per account per day by playing the brand new episode, so we're going to get a brand new episode, or brand new TFO. So we're getting both an episode and a TFO, so that's pretty exciting. In our up to upcoming content release, and we're going to hear more about that soon, once you've gotten your 20 uh, progress, you can claim the set, and then it's the usual scaling dilithium after that. You also have the option to purchase it outright, which I'm a fan of. Um, I'd rather have that than to just never get it because you're not available. Um, and unlike the rep buyout, the prices on that are uh, a little bit more reasonable. The Imperial Rift space set, uh, previously in House Divided, the Klingon Empire descended into Civil War, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so what is the gear? Each uh, of the pieces of the Imperial Rift space set, and it looks like it's a full deck set, so you get the uh, deflector, the engine, the warp core, and a shield. Uh, the deflector ca array captures excess power used from beam or cannon firing modes and shunts it into inner, uh, control expertise and EPG. The impulse engines pair nicely with them, enabling control-based bridge officer abilities, which usually includes things like gravity well, not control, uh, or not command abilities, um, to improve weapon amplification. The warp and singularity cores improve auxiliary power cap uh, uh, capacity, and shield array improves energy weapon damage based on aux power. All these pieces of gear improve other elements of ship performance, but they really shine when combined. Two-piece... Improved damage resistance rating versus foes in a forward arc. Improves turn rate and increases EPG, or exotic damage, sorry, crit severity, not EPG, uh, based on starship weapon amplification. The three-piece enables weaponized mycelium emitter after charging for several seconds. This deals severe radiation damage to foes in front of you and creates a rift, which deals additional kinetic damage. The four-piece augments the mycelium emitter, increasing the damage and duration of the rift, and gives it a chance to manifest allied Elachi ships. Additionally, having all four pieces improves crit chance and starship hull capacity. Sounds like it's all rather science-based, and it's also science-based in a way that encourages you to use energy weapons rather than torpedoes, which is the normal build pattern, is that you do torpedoes of science. So, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see whether this... Um, even if this isn't like some kind of, you know, build-defining thing where science people all switch over to um, to this and start using energy weapons to serve torpedoes, it still seems like it's going to be pretty cool anyway. I'm excited to see um, the four-piece thing where the Alachi ships come out. That sounds like it's just going to be a cool thing to look at. So it seems like this set's going to be a lot of fun to play with, even if it isn't the strongest thing in the world. Uh, we're also getting a new episode and a new TFO, and it's going to be account unlocked. It doesn't exactly say that explicitly, it looks like, but it should be, which means all of your characters, all of those alts and everything, uh, new Jim Hadar characters, whatever, um, you can just go in and claim a full deck set, and, um, and it'll be pretty decent, and it'll have some cool stuff on it. So I think this is a great addition. I'm very excited about this. I'm very happy about it. I'm looking forward to it. And I hope you guys are looking forward to it, too. So this was a great bit of news that they dropped. Restored a little bit of goodwill in my eyes, so uh, good job for that. I didn't notice any <laughs> typos or spelling errors, but I really wasn't looking for them. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm currently working on that Scorpion Pet review. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.